so like so first draw of the season there is a, a hard fought one against the local side again um then eaton griff uh sort of what did you make of the game i think we had plenty of chances to win the game um first half sloppy goal uh, i think three of us ran the one man got to do better but apart from that i don't think they've really done much to be fair to one of the draw second half we probably had three four clean cut chances where we just got to put it away if we ain't gonna put, put the ball in the back of the net when we get them kind of chances then we ain't gonna do, we ain't gonna uh, win games so it's as simple as that really yeah so i know during pre-season uh, akko and dodsey were on about on sort of 3g pitch getting the ball on the ground and things uh, today we saw a fair few balls over the top. Was that sort of the game plan, or is that just sort of something as a team you decided? Uh, I just think we, we get a lot of joy out wide, especially myself. Oh, I mean, I, I like to try and do that diag ball where I think we get a lot with Corey winning the headers and the flick ons. We, we scored quite a few goals from it. Um, obviously, we do want to get it down and play as well, but I think we do get a lot of joy from that from that ball there. But so yeah, it's just winning out of ideas really. So. Yeah, you talked about how we had some clear-cut chances in the second half. Uh, there was a fair few probably in the first half where the ball could have gone in the back of the net. Um, just what do you think it was that meant the ball wasn't ended up where we wanted it? Not anticipating. I just feel like we're not dying to score. Like we're being reactive instead of like proactive. Me and Daly have probably headed back three three balls back right in the mix of the, the six-yard box, and we're just not there in the right areas, and then teams are just picking up the second ball in that. It's simple as that. If we want to score and have players that want to die to score, then we'll score goals. But it's just the last couple of games, we just ain't doing it. So. Yeah, do you think that's sort of down to the fact that there's been a fair few games sort of one after each other and the lads are tiring? Or? Yeah, obviously, we've played midweek every every week so far. So obviously, games are catching up, getting more injuries as well. So obviously, that is an element of it as well. But other teams are doing the same, they're playing midweek as well, so ideally we should be fit because we keep the ball more than other teams, so yeah, I think it's a bit of a poor excuse really, but yeah. And of course we, we lost Keener as well, um, due to a bit of an injury uh, during that point of the game. Um, you've spent some time with him, I'm sure, at rugby as yeah. well, um, so how do you think he's done with the switch, obviously not playing for a year, through breaking his arm, how do you think he's adapted? Um, obviously, he's, the minute you probably find it tough, because it's, it's going from like, doing nothing just straight in um, so yeah he kind of got a break from him but yeah I mean he's coping he's, he's naturally a fit lad anyway so yeah it's, it's just time with him he just needs to slowly build the game time up and then he'll come good for us so yeah and again talking about players and sort of being strong in possession and things um, Trevor Edwards playing in the central defensive midfielder role again today he's got some legs on him and likes to progress forward with the ball um, how do you adapt as a centre back who's used to sort of playing with him on your right hand side to then having him playing in front of you? Uh, Trev's just good at what he does, he, he, he just does a job. Um, I've no concerns with Trev, he comes in gaps on the ball. Um, so I don't think it's hard to adapt, just literally adapt and give him the first game, 10 minutes and know exactly what he's going to do. Just little conversations, so you tell him if you want the ball feet or, yeah, it's just communication really. So I ain't worried about Trev in there, he's just doing a real job. Well, Lyso, congratulations on your Man of the Match performance and uh, all the best for the next game, mate. Oh, cheers.